Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Neat. In this video, we're going to look at how to move to one screen of data directly below us by using the page down key. We'll alternately look at a method of using our scroll bar and our mouse cursor to achieve the same result. So with that, let's get started. In order to get started, I'm going to open up Excel here and we're going to continue using this example worksheet where we have a set of data. Now, in the previous two videos, we looked at using the Alt key and page down function in order to scroll to one screen worth of data to our right, and then Alt page up in order to scroll to one screen of data on our left. Now, if we want to scroll to the data directly below us, so that in, let's see, rows maybe 16 through 32 or 16 through 30 something. The fastest way to do that would just to be, press the page down key once here on your keyboard and it would automatically go to that screen. Now let's say that we have some information here. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be really quite great. You're gonna be so amazed. By that I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be amazed. You can be whatever you want. All right, so currently you can see that we have the numbers one through 13 on our screen. If we pass the page down key, it should show us 14 through 26 and then 27 through the end of our series. Now, in our next video, we're going to look at something quite similar of using the page up key, which would allow us to move one screen up at a time but we're going to finish out this individual video by looking at how we could move one screen down if we did not remember to use our page down key. If we wanted to move one screen down, there's a couple ways to do that. The first would be to use your mouse and click this scroll bar here, and then you could manually scroll down to row 26, let go, and you would have that screen data. Then we could go to row 39 by coming down here and moving down. Alternately, we can use our scroll wheel on our mouse, depending on what type of mouse you have. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, it would often be between the left and right buttons on your mouse. If you press or rather bring the scroll wheel down, meaning you drag it towards you, you will scroll down and you could do this so that you were to move one screen down. So if we were to start at number one here, and we wanted to bring one screen width, we could scroll down until we have row 14. You might have to adjust it with the scroll bar here, and then we would have an individual screen from 14 to 26. However, I found it's a lot faster to just tap the page down key once and move down in that way. So again, in this video, we looked at three different ways to move down one screen width at a time. The first is to use the page down key, which will automatically jump to the cells below your current screen. The second way would be to use your scroll bar and say, scroll down manually to row 24. And the third method would be to use your mouse's scroll wheel. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can manually scroll down. So with that, in our next video, we'll look at the page up key in order to achieve this kind of similar result, but going in the upwards direction, as well as the mouse and cursor forms of achieving the same result. So check that out in our next video, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.